Got some Black Ops 3 uh, gameplay. So today I want to be talking about um, a kind of popular, I guess you could say, a statement made by a lot of people and just what I think on this. And this is uh, why I personally think people hate on Call of Duty. So I'm not like an OG, if you would want to say, Call of Duty player. Like I, you know, oops, I didn't, I'm, I didn't start playing Call of Duty since it came out. I'm not that old. I'm not saying that it's wrong if you are, but I started playing Call of Duty around Call of Duty 4, but I, I really started to being like a Call of Duty player, maybe Mono for 2 time, somewhere like that. So, you know, throughout my years, I've heard a lot of people, you know, I went through good Call of Duties and bad ones, ones that I liked and ones that I didn't. And I always heard, you know, people on both sides of the fence, like, oh, Call of Duty's bad. And I've never really heard a very good claim on why it's bad. I mean, everybody, you know, the one that everybody keeps saying is it's always the same. But is it really? Uh, just to get that part of the way, out of the way, I'm sorry. Uh, every year Call of Duty comes out, right. However, it is made by different uh, developers. Now, you know, now it's three. Before it was two, Infinity Ward and Treyarch. Now it's Sledgehammer games and uh infinity ward and treyarch so you know there's a lot of people working on it so it's not like before where you know you could say oh well you know they're all the same they're, they're really not so you have three of them and uh, people i like to bring this comparison call of duty ghost and even though i did not enjoy advanced warfare call of duty ghost and advanced warfare are nothing alike like nothing alike they, you know, they changed the mechanics of the game. Same with Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 is nothing close to being the same Call of Duty that's, that we had two years ago, three years ago, even before. Nothing, nothing close. And if you're talking about the fast pace, I'm not going to judge Mario for always being, you know, Mario jumping on b b blocks and, like, you know, picking up mushrooms. How come no one's hating on, mush <laughs> on Mario for that? It's because it's stupid. It's silly. Call of Duty, in my opinion... It's just a very popular game to hate. That's the reason people hate it, is because it is popular to hate it. And what I mean by this is, if you were like me, I was in school, and, you know, all in about 7th or 6th grade, I don't really remember, but, you know, you had all the cool kids sitting in the back of the room, and they're all, you know, they're all like, Call of Duty sucks. So, it just, it was popular, not like Call of Duty, I'm guessing. And... That was, like, most of the time, I asked even my friends. I'm like, why don't you like Call of Duty? It doesn't have vehicles. But neither does Pac-Man. Does that mean you should you should not like Pac-Man because it has no vehicles? Like, that doesn't even make sense. It really doesn't. You can't... And I, I don't like comparing Call of Duty to, you know, Battlefield. Because they're not supposed... That's like comparing Mario to Sonic. They're not supposed to be, you know, comparable. Yes, they might be, uh, you know, Call of Duty and Battlefield might be like two war games, you know, you go out and shoot. But that, I don't personally think that that gives you the right to just say it's bad because it doesn't have vehicles. A lot of games don't have vehicles, you know, and that doesn't mean they're bad. Another thing I don't, uh, you know, I don't agree with when people say that um, Call of Duty is bad because they make it every single year. They make Assassin's Creed every single year. And not as big of a fan base complains about that. There are some complaints, but I just started hearing them. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, I personally the, hated Unity. I think it was rushed. Unity and Rogue came out together. I think it was all rushed. It was just bad. So, personally, I just, you know. Personally, I just don't think that's a, a good argument enough to say that it's bad because it's made every year. It's not. And then another thing, a lot of people say it's bad and they still buy it. That's like you saying you hate something, and but you're going to spend money on it. That is terrible. And if you do that, at least man up to the thing and, you know, own up to it and say, you know what, I like it for this aspect or whatever. Now, if you do bad in Call of Duty, that's a different thing. You might not, like, I have friends who don't like it because it's just not their style of a game. And that's completely fine. If it's not your type of game, then it's not your type of game. Then, you, you know, that's completely understandable. However, like, when you say it's a bad game, that's when it just doesn't make any sense. You can't say it's a bad game. That's why I personally think it's a matter of how popular something is. This is kind of a bad example, but, I mean, hope maybe somebody out there will understand. When Justin Bieber first came, he had, you know, a lot of, like, girls liked it. But everybody else, 
he was very pot he well he is but he was crazy popular and everybody liked him like all the girls and stuff but he still received hate which doesn't make you know it's just base like if you're really popular you're gonna get hate and that's what call of duty i think call of duty a lot like it has its you know perks to it i personally love call of duty i haven't always been good at it i don't always do good on it i rage on it sometimes well not rage anymore but like more like get mad if you will and i don't you know i don't think that's like that i don't think that's the game i will agree on one thing that the community is pretty shitty but that's you know i don't think you gotta deal with the community anymore playstation 4 i don't know how it is on xbox but i made a video on this like why i think playstation killed um trolling videos is you don't really like you you're in parties most of the time now so it's not like you have to deal with the community like you used to you used to go in mute people because they were assholes or whatever not anymore you don't have to do that anymore because you're in parties with your friends so it's and if you i mean it's still very rare to see people just chilling you know talking to other people in the lobby so i don't i don't think it's necessarily like a good reason now again if you just don't like the game because you know it's not yours you're not good at it you don't like this kind of game that's completely understandable and i'm not gonna say that you're wrong for it no like uh some games are not for me like mortal Kombat and fighting games i'm not too great on them but i'm not gonna go out and say it's a bad game just because i'm not good at it so this is why i personally think that call of duty gets hated on is because it's very popular it was very it's popular you're like one of those you used to be one of those cool kids if you said you hate call of duty everyone's like what why would you hate call of duty that's like oh my god but now it's just silly it's like really well, why and, and then you still buy it don't compare it to battlefield battlefield's his own thing i'm not gonna compare battlefield to destiny that wouldn't make that would make zero sense So, oops, sorry, I kind of went, you know, oh, so that, that's just, like, I don't know, maybe people disagree with me or agree with me, it doesn't matter, you could comment below or whatever, but that's just, to me, why everybody hates it, is because it's, you know, it's, a, it's on this pedestal and everybody wants to feel like they're that one guy out of, like, the trend or whatever, like, I don't know, that's just, that's just the way I see it, I mean, I'm sure people have other theories, I didn't really watch any other YouTube videos about it. But this is just me speaking from my friends telling me they hate the game. From people I've, you know, listened to, they said they hate the game. And I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, it just, I want to kind of clarify to some people who, to the people who still love this game, why maybe people hate it or whatever. And I don't really think everybody hates it. Like, but I understand if you had a bad memory with it, maybe some kid offended you, some guy said something bad to you, and you're like, you know, I hate the community. That's, you know, it's understandable. But, you know, other than that, I, you know, I just, personally, I don't believe, I don't think that, like, people have too good reasons about it. Too many reasons, I mean it. The vehicle thing was just ridiculous. It's out of proportion. You're not going to hate on Mario for not having vehicles. And I don't mean Mario Karts. I mean like Super Mario Bros. You're not going to hate on Pac-Man for it. It just doesn't make any sense. And if, you know, people still buy it. Why do you think this game sells out all the time? Why do you think it makes so much money? Activision is like hooked on it. It's because it's popular. People still buy it. People hate on it, but they buy it. It doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't make any sense if you kind of like break it down. So hopefully, every I I really hope people will like start to understand that like why they shouldn't really hate on the game. They should if they don't like if it's not their kind of game then I understand. But other than that, don't hate on the game. Try it, play it. Don't like it, it's not for you. Unless I'm sure there are good reasons why people may not like this game. None that I have heard actually. <laughs> so I mean you know. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, so anyway, I'm kind of done with this, not rant, but, so it's hopefully people enjoy. Well, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe if you really like your grandmother, man. Your granny likes this channel. You should, you should, like, subscribe. You should, you know, subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some Destiny. See ya.